Hey, hey guys, it's Merkel here. Welcome back to the NR 2003 season here. We are in race 11 and 23. We're hitting the halfway mark here finally. It's going to be 56 laps here at Darlington. Uh, I actually have to change that. <laughs> 56 laps here at Darlington. Uh, your points leader going into today as we go over to that uh, is Malenko. He is 19 points ahead of Ben Park. Uh, 37 points of Sam Osgun here. Adam Gardner, 43 back. And James Bush is your top five, 93 points back here. Dan Park, first one, 111 or more back. Uh, some people that have work to do. Max Server is down in 24th. 303 points back. I don't know if he can do that in 11 races, but I guess, you know, someone's gained that big uh, big enough of a gap, so he might be eliminated here soon. Who knows? Uh, Emerson, Cleary, Schaefer, and Fox all also have work to do. Everybody 12th and up is looking good. Everybody back. I guess Adrian's looking pretty good at 13th with two wins, but he needs to keep that up. And let's get back into the race. Let's go to Quali here. Drivers, to your cars. Looks like Josh Fox is on pole over Causey, Devin Zimmerman, Lingerfeld, Colin Cropley, RJ, Roger, and Malenko. Now Adrian and uh, Ed, your top 10. Points leaders, 8th. Um... I think what Sam was second. He's 19th. Or is it Ben? I think Ben was second. He's last, unfortunately. But Sam was 19th. So this is going to allow Mal, unfortunately, to pull even more of a gap, it looks like. We'll see how the race goes here at Darlington, though. Drivers. Alright, 17 seconds. Josh Fox, Causey, Lingerfelt, and Zimmerman. Drivers! RJ Start and Cropley are top engine. six. And then go on through the field here. Until they start rolling. And we'll see if anybody's going to have problems. And we'll wait on Emerson here. Everybody starts pulling away. Looks like everybody's car is good. Base car pulls off. We are green here. Side by side right now. Again. Looks like the top can hold its own kind of here. I don't know. I, I, I'm not testing the tracks anymore. Just get through things while I do work, but it looks like this Darlington's okay. Josh Fox clears Causey though for the race lead. It's gonna be a battle for the third as Lingerfeld and Devin Zimmerman on the bottom are battling. Zimmerman now looking for the other end Causey here. Side by side down the front straightaway, Lingerfeld falls in line there. Colin Cropley now looking to get underneath the six. Zimmerman though, he's gonna look for maybe the race lead on Josh Fox as he's up on the high line. Causey awfully close to that wall. Looks like he's going to clear Fox way out ahead. Zimmerman and Causey at a third, fourth, Lingerfell, and it looks like Cropley is going to try and get up into fifth and then get around Sam Oscon. Er, sorry, that's RJ in the 43. They're going to clear. Causey now dives down back to the inside. With Devin Zimmerman here for second place. Going to bring the leaderboard back up there. They need to get single file for anybody to maybe go and catch Josh Fox here. Cropley up in the third as Devin's now falling back in the top line. Side by side with Devin Zimmerman, Colin Cropley. Devin looks like he gets the better run into the turn. But Cropley gets the better exit off in the middle there. Will Devin get the run off the corner? Kind of looks like he is, but it's not good enough as Cropley 
Might be able to clear him in some the next turn. And he does. Crawfoot now looking to maybe get the cause here for a second. He's not quite there. It's Roger now to the inside. It looks like a linger fell back here. Actually, sorry, side by side with RJ Bishop in the 43. Lingerfeld dives down to the bottom. He's going to get a push from Roger. He's going to try to get up into the fourth position. RJ going to follow to the bottom here. Kyle not quite able to get there. RJ now. He's not able to make the move either. They're falling back. Single file up front for the moment. Roger trying to get underneath Lingerfell here coming off of off of four down the uh, down the front straight. And so is Colin Crowley trying to go for second. We'll see if Roger can make the move here on Lingerfell or if he's gonna back out here in turns one and two. It looks like he backs out. Crowley looks like he is gonna maybe lose the position to Devin Zimmerman here. He starts to fall back a little bit. Clears up in front of Kyle Lingerfeld there. So go through the back of the pack here now. Ben second in points. At the moment last. This is not good for him. James Bush also top five in the points. Back in 21st. Adam Gardner and Mal are by each other. Adam's top five in the points. He needs to get around Mal though. It's Colin Cropley now to the inside of Kyle Lingerfell here. Looks like four around the fourth, third position maybe. Gets around Devin Zimmerman had a great exit there. Here comes Roger Buff now to the inside. Roger side by side with Lingerfell now. Off of two, he's gonna lose it as the 43 has momentum. Will he clear? He does. Almost did not have the room to clear there. Lingerfeld though, going high. Maybe trying to get around Devin Zimmerman here. He does. He's gonna get the run down the back straightaway. He's gonna be up into fourth. As we got a actually battle for the race lead. Calls it to the inside of Josh Fox here. Fox might get the run off the high line though. Side by side down the back straightaway. Colin Cropley this allowing him to creep into the pitcher. Same with Lingerfeld in the six now. All these guys do not have a win except Cropley. Cropley has two. He's trying to go for three. Be the first one there. Adrian also has two. Fox leads the lap. Cause he cannot get there. Side by side into one. Cause he's still hanging tough. Is there side by side now coming through? To the exit of two. Fox is going to get the run on the high line. Can cause a clear back up in front of the Colin. Looks like he will be able to. We'll check back up in here in a second. A lot of people trying to make moves to get the turns here. Looks like Lingerfeld now trying to go underneath Cropley. Can't quite get that done. As Roger trying to make a move on Devin Zimmerman for sixth place. Side by side here. I think we're in one and two. I might be wrong. Yep. Down the back straightaway here. Roger cannot clear. Devin Zimmerman having the run on the outside there, but Roger has the better middle. Here comes Colin Cropley though to the inside of Kazi here for second place. He is there, but Kazi has the run on the high line. Side by side here in the one and two now. It's allowing Fox to get away a little bit again. Here comes uh, Kyle Lingerfeld in the six. It looks like they cannot clear. Here comes RJ Bishop now in the 43, trying to get to the inside of Devin Zimmerman here. Lingerfeld also has a big run here on Colin Cropley. Will he be able to make the move? Looks like he backed out of it a little too much, though. A lot of people bunched up. We'll go towards the back of the field, see how everybody else is doing. Bunny numbers are not having good days here, unfortunately. So, Troy, Reese, 
Dylan. Sam Oscar goes very high there to get around max service. We'll go back towards the front. It's Co uh, Colin Cropley and uh, Causey both side by side here. For the second position, Causey trying to make the inside work as they're catching back up to Josh Fox now. Fastest car on track looks to be the 88 and then the 93 of Devin Zimmerman actually, but right now they're not having a good time. <coughs> Nobody is out of the race. They're coming to lap 15 here this time by. Oh, wrong thing. Looks like Ed trying to go around Mal here for the seventh position. Wait, what? Sorry, Mal was trying to go around Ed there. Can I get it to stick? If someone's in the wall. That's your uh, Sam Oscon, who's also top five in the points. Falling back now. Is he gonna be able to continue? Looks like it. Doesn't look like there was a lot of damage to it. Doesn't look like there was any at all, in fact. That's good for him. Crawley tried to go to the inside of Josh Fox, but could not get the job done. But here comes Causey now in the 88. Actually, no, he's not fitting him. I thought he was. Crawley seems slow. I don't know what happened there. going on but here comes Lingerfeld now to the inside of Causey here down the front straight and lap 17 here comes RJ though also underneath Roger can Lingerfeld clear the 88 though and he will Lingerfeld now up into the third position Roger or RJ cannot get around Roger but somehow Lingerfeld made a move work there Towards the field for a second here. A lot of battles going on back here. Sam Oscon underneath Dylan Rash for it looks like the 17th position. Towards the top 10, we got some people fighting. Going back to the battles back here. A lot of people grouped up back here. Adam trying to go for 11th around Adrian Schumacher, Merkel, Max, and it looks like Jesse Adams are battling back here. to the front. Roger trying to get around Kazi here for the fourth position as he has the run backs down and goes right behind Kazi trying to get a run off the corner again. Colin Cropley again chasing down Josh Fox. Will he be able to get the move done though? We're going to go on board for a lap here. Hopefully they don't pit because I've done that a couple times. So come off the floor here. Also, calls are trying to get around Lingerfeld. Can't quite get there. Everybody else back here is battling. Mal trying to make a move underneath Ed here in the 21. Can't get the runoff though. Here comes Adrian also and Devin Smith for the 10th position. He's trying to add another top 10 to his day. Looks like Devin Smith might get around Mal here. Cannot quite get the run done.
Roger going to the inside of Kazi again. It looks like he's going to be able to clear Kazi. Possibly. Nope. Kazi has to run on the high side again. If he can stay side by side into the turn, he might be able to get a good run through the middle. Lingerfell trying to go around the outside, calling properly there. Almost had it, but he's going to have a huge run down the front straight. Can he make it stick though in one and two? It looks like he cannot. Roger did get the move done though on uh, Kazi. Kazi's starting to slowly fall back here. Clapley. Looks like he got a good run on Josh Fox here. I think they are going to put around 25 here. But I'm not 100% sure on that. It might be like 30. Lingerfeld trying to look to the inside of the Colin Cropley here again. Can't quite get there. Mal looks like Devin Smith now trying to go to the bottom of him. Can't quite get it done. These AIs are something sometimes. Like, they definitely should be able to make some of these moves work that they do. For some reason, they just back out of it. Mal goes very high there. Side by side with Devin Zimmerman now. Zimmerman falling back throughout this race a little bit. Here comes Lingerfeld again. Big run off of three and four. Cannot quite get there. He's not going to be able to make it stick again. Probably running very high there. We'll need to look at Josh Fox again. Go right towards the back again. This big group, they're constantly fighting back here. It's for the 10th position between all these guys. Mal is the 9th position, or the 8th position, sorry. Devin Zimmerman dives it back down here in the 1 and 2, I think we're at. I was looking at my phone, so nope. Maybe it was 1 and 2, okay. Can't quite get it done. Adam Garner, Max Service now looking high. Trying to get around the 71, maybe if he can get a run. Actually, here comes Adam, though, to the inside. Schumacher, he's trying to chase down that 21 and gain some points on him. Mal at the moment effectively gaining on everybody but Colin Cropley. I think the other five that are up there, maybe RJ, are pretty far ahead. They're pretty far back in points. I mean, yeah, technically they are gaining, but not by a lot. Ozzy again, looks like he's gonna get passed by Ed here. For some reason the 88 cannot keep his car going compared to some of these guys. As we go towards the back of the field. Ben not having a good day, still has not been able to make up any ground on Emerson or anyone. He needs the pit stops. Here comes Colin Cropley though to try to get to the outside of Josh Fox, but now he's going to dive down to the inside here. Can't quite get there. He almost got to the outside. Sorry about that. I was definitely reading a text there. 
Uh, Malenko trying to hold off from Devin Smith here still. Crawley looks like he's still looking. Just needs to get the right position. If Fox continues to run low, you need to run high coming off the corner and maybe get the run. Cannot quite get there though. Here comes Devin Zimmerman. Adam again trying the bottom line. Can't make it work. He's trying to get around Devin Smith or sorry, Devin Zimmerman right now. Both next to each other. Oh. Don't know what's wrong with Fox, but he's on the bottom. I think he's pitting. Looks like he is. We're gonna stay with him through his pit stop. First one to pit. You will be able to make it to the end from here. So he's hoping his pit crew does the job. Fox pits. Looks like he's gonna take right sides. Will he take lefts also? Is it gonna be two tire stop here? It is a two tire stop. And a lot looks like other people are pitting too. Lingerfeld led that lap. Fox comes off a of pit road. for it to cycle around. Fox looking for his first win in the year. Cropley who's been battling him tonight is looking for his second, or sorry, his third win. He'll be the first driver to do that this season. As Adrian was the second person to get a second win. There's Cropley. Cropley is not going to get in front of Fox. Fox does clear. We'll see if anybody else has a good pit stop or not. Well, with Fox being out and, you know, like fresh tires for an extra lap now, he might be quite a far ahead. There's a couple guys coming out of pit road on the apron there. It looks like it should be these two. We'll wait for it to cycle around here. Cause oh, he ran the fastest lap apparently at some point. And Dylan still led that lap because he was on pit road. Finally gotten really spread out now here in this race. Cropley though is catching. Trying to wait for it to come around and say that these two are the leaders. No, nope, Dylan was still ahead. For 21 seconds. He's just coming off a pit road now. Yeah, I assume he's not leading anymore. But Cropley has caught Josh Fox here. This could be the battle for the race win. Cropley does technically have one lap fresher tires for pitting after Fox. Will he be able to make it work though? Will we get lap traffic? Probably not. I don't think we will in this race. Wait for everybody to cross the line. Josh Fox will be race leader over Colin Cropley, Kyle Lingerfeld, RJ Bishop, Causey, uh, Roger, Ed, Eth is Devin Smith, ninth Sam Oscon, and Malico's 10th trying to get past right now by Adam Gardner. Cannot make the move. 
12th, Devin Zimmerman, 13th, Reese Schaefer, 14th, uh, Max, 15th, Emerson, 16th, Troy, 17th, Kyle Cleary, 18th is Ben, Schumacher fell to 19th, he was at the edge of the top 10, uh, Jesse Adams, 20th, uh, Dylan Ledelap got 21st at the moment, Mark Will, 22nd, 23rd, James Bush, and Dan Park is also, unfortunately, now last. Park Brothers not having a good day here. I just oh, there we go. Colin Crawley again right to the back bumper to the 17. It's gonna go high here. Can he make it work? No, he cannot. Looks like Devin Smith now trying to make a move on Ed here. Looks like he might have to run down the front straight away. Not quite, he's not going to be able to pull out. Let's continue to watch the battle for 7th position here. As you can see, 6th and 5th also ahead. Looks like Adam is going to get around Malenko. He got around on the high line somehow. Uh-oh, Josh Fox is having problems. Is this going to bring out a yellow? This car is having problems. He might have to retire here. As we wait to see if the yellow comes out. Fox is stopped on track. No yellow. And that's going to get Colin Cropley here a win. Again, he's going to get his third win on the year. He's way out ahead. Roger now passing Causey for the top five spot. Actually, they're both top five, I forgot. Because of Josh Fox having the issues. You're going to have to wait and see what it is. Can the other two guys catch Colin Cropley, though? That's the question. Will Ed be able to get around Causey? Will Devin Smith be able to get around any of these guys? As we wait to see what the issue is on the 17 car. It doesn't look like Lingerfeld. Yeah, they're about a tenth off at the moment. RJ is fast enough. He might be able to catch up. He's hitting 30s right now in the lap times. It's a Mal again to the inside of Adam Gardner here. Off of turn four, he's not going to be able to make a move. Adam's going to have to run. Here comes Ed Agazi here. Will he be able to make that stick? Does not look like it. We got 10 laps to go here. 2.2 seconds for the race leaders. So we continue to watch the battle for around fifth position. Agazi, Ed, and Devin Smith. We'll go back a little bit also. We'll watch Smith coming off a turn. Number four here. He's gonna get a big run. He's gonna drop it to the bottom. Will he be able to send it in the turn one? A lot of the guys cannot be able to. Have not been able to, I should say. Sorry. It looks like Fox might be back in track. And he is. I don't know what the problem was. He stopped, head to toe. He's back out on track now. Maybe they just didn't fill the car up. Who knows? What a mistake that they cannot afford here. Mal got to the outside of Adam Garner. This might be able to give him the edge and get the move around the 71. If Adam clears him, he's going to slide up. Mal, again, Adam needs to hang on to this position to gain points. Colin Cropley also needing this to gain points. Mal back to the bottom of the 71 to Adam Gardner now. Getting pushed from the 40 of Sam Oscon side by side down the front right away. And Lingerfeld is catching 1.8 seconds. And it's got about 7 to 8 laps to go here. Will he be able to get there and will he be able to pass though is the question. Mal clears easily around Adam Gardner. 
go back around here. So like Ben Park still continuing the fall back. Dan also way behind. Fox now gonna finish last. So we're gonna go on board with Lingerfell here for a lap. As they're chasing down on Grappley. Will they be able to get there? They have six laps to go here this next time. See how much they conquer this lap. Got about four tenths there. That is definitely enough time before the end of the race to be able to get to the back bumper of that 27. Probably ran a 31.9 to Kyle's 31.4. As we continue to watch the six here now for the last couple laps, and see if we can catch up. Will he be able to make a move? Or at least make it a close finish. And RJ is following him. Devin Smith still trying to get around edge here. Sam Oskin just trying to hang on to the top 10. Max trying to get one. I think everybody has the top 10. 1.2, they only gained two tenths that time. Need to gain a lot more than that. And here comes Saint RJ Bishop to the inside of Lingerfelt now. They cannot, be afford, they cannot afford to be doing this. Four to go. But, oh wow, they gained a lot that time. They're both within a second now of the 27 for Colin Cropley. They're catching him a lot. Cropley is running 32s. These two running 31s. Cropley really slow, it seems like. Will these two be able to mount a huge run when they get to the 27 and get around him? RJ now trying to get to the inside of Lingerfell, can't quite get there. Lingerfell now has draft at the 27. He did run a 31.9 that time for Colin. Lingerfell at 31.8. I think they lost a little bit of time this time. Crapley ran a 32-0, Lingerfell 31-9, and a 30-0, 32-0. It's about four tenths here, coming to two to go right now. Can it be another last lap move for someone? Can Lingerfell get his first one on the year? So I think these other two have wins. I know Colin has two, I think RJ has one this year. Coming off of turn four, we're coming to the white flag here. And Lingerfell has got to Colin Cropley. Will he be able to make a move though? As he's looking low here in one and two. Needs to wait a little bit till turn four. Turn three and four, sorry. As long as RJ doesn't go to his end, or if he does, that might help. Lingerfell needs to get a run off here. Colin Cropley though coming off of turn four. Looks like he's gonna be able to get a move done. RJ Crawley wins for the third time this year. Lingerfeld second, RJ third, fourth is Roger, fifth Ed. Six is gonna be Causey, seventh Devin Zimmerman. Eighth is gonna be Adam Gardner, holds off Malco for ninth. Tenth is Sam Oscon, service eleventh, and then the rest of the field. Tough day for Josh Fox and Dan Park. And we'll be right back with the points. All right, guys, it's Markle. Welcome back. We're here for the results. Colin Cropley led 16 laps here tonight. Lingerfelt led one. Roger Buff got one. Uh, Dylan Rash got two. Josh Fox, who led the most, got 24. Sorry, 36, and unfortunately finished last. From, it looks like possibly fuel issues. That's why he stopped on the track, I think. Pull winner was Fox. Um, for the rest of it. Here, Josh Fox at the pull award. 
uh, front runner, die hard racer because he finished last, and headache. Met the challenge. Troy is uh, moved up nine places here today. Uh, and over into the points now. Malico is your race leader. Your points leader still by 39 points over Adam Gardner, who gained a little bit on him. Uh, Sam Oscon, 41 back, 54 for Ben Park. And then the fifth place, Colin Crawley now, who moves up three spots with his third win on the year, still 104 points back. He's got to keep doing more to catch these very consistent guys at the front. Uh, and then 134 back, James Bush. Uh, Zimmerman up in the seventh. 135 back, eighth is Ed. Ninth, Devin Zimmerman. Dan Park falls down to 10th. 142 back, or er, I think it's 155, something like that. Dan, I think is the biggest loser today. Minus, nope, Dylan Rash, minus five. Uh, biggest gainer looks like Lingerfelt, plus five. A lot of plus, a plus four for RJ. Three wins on the year for Colin Cropley. He needs to keep that up. Only has five top tens, five top fives compared to Mel. Seven top tens. Uh, Sam has eight top tens now. Uh, we'll go to statistics. Uh, Max, actually, though, first of all, is not last in points. With Fox having could have won a race. Probably could have moved up decently in the points. Probably a good couple positions and ended up finishing last. Puts him back to 24th in points. Max gains the spot now because of that. Uh, yep, everybody does have a top 10. Everybody has a top 5 except for Max and Reese. Um, other than that, let's go to statistics. Your wins, Colin Cropley now leading that over Adrian by 1. Adrian has 2 and then a bunch of people with 1. Your top 5 looks like Colin Cropley with 5 now. Dan, Dylan, Ed all have 4 or 3 for Adam Gardner. Top 10s is Sam Oscon with 8. Uh, ben Park and Malenko with seven, six for Adam and Dan Park. Uh, polls, nobody has more than one. Laps is, uh, completed. Adam Gardner still leading that with 542 over Jesse Adams, 541. Sam Oscon at 539 there. Lingerfell, 538. Troy, 534. Laps led is Colin Cropley, 91 over Dylan Rash, 74. Cleary. 54, Fox 42, Causey 37. Miles completed, basically the same as uh, the laps. And here from race 11, it doesn't look like we had anything other than the most cars running like normally. Uh, other than that, we will see you guys next time for, let me see, for Belt, Beltsville. I don't know really what the track looks like, but can't wait to go see it. Peace out.